And we are so, so excited to welcome in one of our good pals, the offensive coordinator for the Las Vegas Raiders, which is still taking a little bit of time to get used to, Greg Olson. And Oli, before we get into all the fun stuff and the building and all these new toys you have at, dis at your disposal, how are you doing? How have you and your family kind of been dealing with and, and handling this incredible situation that we're living in? Well, well, we're obviously extremely blessed in that nobody in my immediate family or my wife's immediate family has contracted the virus or, or lost employment because of the, the virus. So we've been fortunate that way to, it was difficult for the kids. I've got, uh, as you know, uh, 16 year old twins uh, that, you know, had to miss out on their uh, spring sports. And, and obviously the, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen here in the fall, but the family's healthy, uh, gave me a, a lot of time to spend with my family that I normally would not have uh, during the spring and during the OTAs and, and June. So uh, we've got a chance to reconnect as a family and it's brought us closer together. So all is good in the Olson household. Oli, I gotta ask you, you're sitting, you are our first guest coming live from our new beautiful facility in Henderson, Nevada. So just give me a give me a tour with your words. What was it like coming in there the other day? What, what did you see and what's the, uh, the office set up like? Yeah, obviously it's exciting. You know, anytime you're going to something new, it's uh, I would uh, compare it to what anybody that buys a, a new home and uh, steps through that front door for the first time. So it's exciting, it's new, there's a lot of energy uh, in the building right now. Uh, there's still a lot of construction going on, uh, but it's a real positive vibe uh, throughout the building. Were there any kind of unforeseen challenges of going completely virtual outside of the obvious ones that you don't really get to see guys face to face really? Uh, obviously there's challenges when you're doing something for the first time. I think, you know, we feel really as a staff that Joe Harrington, our video director, is the best in the business. And uh, he really made it very uh, seamless, seamless transition for us. Uh, not a lot of hiccups, uh, very few problems. Uh, and so we feel like we, we, we did as best uh, as we could. Uh, best or better than probably any other team in the league uh, when it came to our video conferencing. So we had 100% attendance from our players. Uh, that was very encouraging. Uh, we, it, you know, it forced you to find different ways to try to keep the players stimulated uh, in these meetings. But uh, I, I really feel like we got a lot of information covered for them, and uh, we'll be able to hit the ground running when they when we do get to open back up. Does the curriculum of the meetings change at all in a virtual aspect, or are you guys still going through the same things that you would have done if you were at twelve twenty you know, doing it face to face? Well, obviously. Uh, if we were, if they were in the building, we were practicing. We'd spend a lot of time uh, correcting mistakes on a practice field, and that's what we're that's what we're missing uh, right now is being able to find out. We, 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 again, we feel like they've been real positive uh, meetings, and they have been. But we still don't know if, if the players can go out and execute some of the, some of the information, some of the plays that we've given them. Uh, there's no way of knowing it. They they, they answer the. Believe me, they uh, we've tested them. We've tested them. Uh, on rip materials, uh, uh, different tests we put together, video tests that we put together, and uh, you know they've sh they've shown that they have absorbed the material that we've given them, but we still haven't had a chance to go out and again try to execute it on the field. And that's the only one thing that we're missing. But we've we've got a lot of information covered, uh, probably more than we have in any other uh, off season. I think uh, Coach Gruden would say, you know, we we covered a lot of information, and maybe that's a blessing that we you know we had some time to really detail up what we're installing to the players because we, were, we weren't in a time crunch to get out in the practice field. So I think we've, we've, we've done a lot of good things. You know, Coach, since the last time we, we saw you or we spoke to you, I mean, it feels like this this team as, as a whole has changed, has gone and undergone so many changes. There's so many new faces that are coming in 2020. But particularly on the offensive side of the ball, there's a handful that fans of this team are very, very excited about. And when you talk about those guys, you got to start with Henry Ruggs. And I know that you haven't had a chance to see him, as you were saying, in person. But what have your impressions been of Henry? And, and when you look at his body of work, what excites you the most about what he can bring to this offense in 2020 and beyond? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is speed. There's nobody faster than Henry Ruggs that came out in the draft this past year. So, uh, again, explosive player. Uh, you know, before, really, before it kind of got shut down, the NFL shut down the, uh, the player-driven workouts, you know, we were getting – feedback from, from from our veteran players that were involved in those workouts and uh, very positive uh, concerning Henry Ruggs. They, you know, he, Coach, he's not only fast, uh, this guy runs great routes and he's got great hands and strong hands and is a strong physical uh, player. So I think the, 
the players on the team are excited as well to welcome Henry Ruggs. He's one of the, you know, when you look at us offensively, we've got a number of returning players at almost every position. Uh, but we did, you know, we have that, that um, you know, wide out position that was open and uh, he's going to jump in and grab that spot. So really you're not looking at a lot of new players for us on our side of the ball, uh, but the, the addition of Henry Ruggs is certainly a, a huge addition. You look at your tight end group as a whole, and I don't know if there was a deeper, better tight end group in the entire NFL than the one that you guys had. And you guys said, all right, that was cool. Let's go add a future Hall of Famer to the mix yeah. too with Jason Witten. When, you, when you've when you had a chance to interact with Jason, albeit in a virtual setting, what have your kind of takeaways been from him and what he's meant to that group as a whole? Uh, you know, you just think of a true professional. And again, you can't get a real feel on these Zoom meetings. But one thing I had mentioned to Coach Gruden, I said, Coach, you – you take a look at Jason Witten, you know, we record all these meetings and he is so into it. You know, he's very serious. Uh, again, that's what I mean by he's a pro. The guy's taking notes. Uh, it's very detailed uh, player. Ask the right questions. We come back with Frank Smith and ask a lot of questions of Frank to make sure that he's got it detailed correctly. But, you know, you're talking again, like Mike May, I could mention, you know, he's going to be on the Mount Rushmore of tight ends that played in the National Football League. And, uh, you know, 11 Pro Bowls, I mean, most of our players were, you know, li little kids when when Jason Witten came into the league, and now to add him as to, again to that group of tight ends, who we felt the same way as you mentioned, Eddie. We felt uh, we did have one of the one of the best group of tight ends in the league, and, and now we've added this guy, and it's just made us even better. And and he'll make us better on the football field. He's going to make everybody better in the classroom, uh, and that's what you that's what you're hoping to get when you when you sign a veteran player. As a free agent, you want a guy that, that brings everything to the table, and, and he brings a lot. So, real excited about him. Having a guy like Derek Harna, who's been with you guys for so long, I imagine that the benefit of him on the roster, him being the quarterback of this team, his value is just, it's almost indescribable considering the kind of weird circumstances that we're living in right now. Yeah, I think that that will be our advantage. Not only just Derek, and certainly Derek is the, is the biggest piece of the puzzle, but uh, to have a veteran quarterback uh, when you've been quarantined and you've been unable to work out, I think is a huge advantage for any team that's returning the quarterback uh, position. Uh, but we're also like we tie by Eddie, we're, we're, we think we're returning nine or 10 starters on offense. So uh, that should be an advantage for us offensively. Uh, the guys know one another, they know the calls, they know all the terminology uh, that we put together as an offensive staff. Uh, there's a great familiarity with the coaching staff. Really, we haven't had any turnover in the coaching staff, so uh, that's exciting as well, I think, for our players. Uh, so if there's an advantage there, it's that, you know, Derek Carr won, you know, his his grasp of the offense. He's going to be going into his third year in the system, which is the first time he's done that, including college. So uh, I know he's extremely excited. He's also done a lot in terms of, Again, before they shut these down, he did a lot in terms of gathering the guys uh, together in Las Vegas, those players that were out here in Las Vegas, and getting some work done with the, with those uh, players. So, uh, you know, I, again, we're fortunate, very fortunate, especially on our side of the football, uh, that we have so many uh, players returning. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully those returning players result in a lot of touchdowns come game day. And More hopefully, players. Coach, we see, you, we see you sooner than later, and we're all under the same roof in a safe and uh, – you know, conducive environment to everyone. But it was so good to catch up with you. Stay safe, stay healthy. And like I said, hopefully we, uh, we get to do this again soon, but in person. Yeah, for sure, Eddie. And good to see you. Good to see you, Coach. Be healthy.